I've been watching a lot of Grant Cardone. You ever watch Grant Cardone? Yeah, he's the car guy, right? He's no, he's a property guy. Oh, he yeah. buys um, multi multi unit rental properties. Yeah. Jake's selling his one year later after buying his, and it makes a profit. His what? One year, multi. -family? My brother has a multi-family, a four-family. Uh huh. He owned it for a year. Uh huh. I think I. Well, I don't. I don't think I figured something out. I think I did. Well, I did figure something out. Stay in your fucking lane. <laughs> That's the fucking rule. Don't be buying fucking property. One. One. Mm. You want to buy six? Get ready for fucking your whole rest of your jobs to suffer. You're talking about units or properties? Just in general. Mm hmm. In general, like if you think you're gonna get ahead by buying six properties, you had better be, you better had better have the time to say I own six properties, not say whatever your job is. Mm -hmm. Honest to God, because owning two, I had two, three at one point. Mm -hmm. It's just all, your fucking hands are everywhere, and you you have a job where you make let's just say 100 grand, 90, 120, 300. I don't know what the fuck, you, but that's gonna suffer. That's gonna go down to 90. Mm -hmm. If you were making, if I was selling cars and making 150. It would go down to 90 mm. if I had six units, mm -hmm. and then I say, "Oh, the money's there." And yeah, sure, it's a, it's the hardest way to be a millionaire. Mm. Not I'm not saying it can't be done, but be ready for the big your big job, your main income pulse. That's the cleanest money, mm -hmm. which is the 40-hour work week. Which is you go to work, you get the money at the end of the week. That's the easiest way to get your money, so to speak, so to speak. You could have like other sideline pipeline shit, but if the pipe the pipeline shit's gonna suffer, and in the end, multifamilies, I I don't know. You, Buying them right now, everybody's trying. I think everybody's Grant Cardone in their own head. Mm -hmm. And if what the fuck's going on here? Sweet, I want to see. Just want to roll up, put the siren on. I don't know. Like my brother's a pretty like hard, like hardworking guy when it comes to shit like that. Yeah. And he, he's like, eh, I don't want it. I mean, that's my, that's the problem with Grant Cardone is he's telling people to buy properties, yeah. and he's saying it like it's a universal like cure all. Fix your thing. Like the one person, the only the only people I would ever trust. Like if I was, if I was, um, if someone was like, "Hey man, you got money to invest in a property," I'd be like, "Get away from me!" Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Don't uh, don't call me. Don't text me. Lose my number. The only the only two people I could think of where I'd be even remotely interested in doing something like that is is you and uh, your brother. Like you're yeah. you're the guys. Uh, yeah. We, so for you it. for you to say for you to say that that's a bad idea, just uh, reaffirms what I was thinking. Like it's like it's like me telling it's like me telling people to do comedy videos. Yes. Like the Grant the thing Grant Cardone does. Hey guys out there, you want to get started on your first comedy video? Get started right away. Go out and get go out and get a Canon HV30. You and I want you to do the following formula: ten sketches, ten times a year, ten days, in ten sketches. That's my formula. That's my secret. That's the secret to my passion. So clicks like subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just the the ownership at like for so my brother's the in the scenario is this. I'll go quick on it. Four family. It's a two two one one, which is two family, two bedroom, two bedroom, one bedroom, one bedroom. Mm -hmm. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's a two two one one, which is you always want to do bedroom count, blah blah blah. But he makes uh, seventeen fifty above the mortgage. Mm -hmm. Doesn't live there. Adds it up. Uh huh. The unit repair. Back in the day, guys like I don't know, my dad could like do a bathroom for like eight fifty. And like, yeah, sure, if you're at like a hippie, yeah. you just like, oh yeah, you have guys that drop what they're doing on a drop of a dime, like your plumber will come and do your fucking shitty $175 plumbing job. Okay, fine, you got a buddy who's a plumber. You got a buddy who's an electrician too. You got a buddy who's a plasterer, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, oh, oh, you have a do all, which I have a do all, my do all slow. Mm -hmm. That's a guy who can do anything. He can set the cabinets, do light electrical work, blah, 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 tile. And then the cost of the unit and the materials, materials being so expensive these days and trends being what they are, it's like, okay, so I spent fucking 4,200 bucks on an upfit for one of my, a portion of one of my units. Mm -hmm. Let's just say you spent 16,000. That's fucking post tax and like raw money. Mm -hmm. Dude, what the fuck are you? If, if, Someone can turn their back. Okay, so like, uh, to watch Jake like, he's like, say this, fuck, I'm gonna sell it. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm gonna fucking sell it. He bought the house for two thirty. Mm -hmm. He put ten thousand down. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing to come by is like large sums of cash. Like in an average person lifetime, like you're talking to, the average, you, you get like your shot at ten or fifteen grand, mm -hmm. like once every three years, maybe mm -hmm. like one come up. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, "This fuck it, I'll blow it." Mm -hmm. 
But buying a, a house with like your 10, 15, never mind like 30, but say you did, say you got 25 or 30, which is like maybe like a tw uh, 20 something's 401k. Yeah. Like, all right, I already had like 25,000 saved. Fuck it, I'll use it for a house. Yeah. Like getting that is so fucking, you're fucked. Like, and now it's gone. Oh, if something breaks, it's 5,000. You don't have it. You didn't rebuild it. You're like, you're fucking, oh, cool. My fucking feet are in cement now. Yeah. Now I now that big score that I somehow managed to attain, I have to redo twenty percent of that, in just in order to like not have to uh, foreclose on this thing. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna go great. Or I... put it in a car crusher or what have you. Oh, cool. I have the fucking opportunity to squander away my equity based on the free flow of cash from my paycheck. Oh, cool. So my twenty-five thousand dollar thing now cost me forty grand. And the, that was the money I was supposed to make, so shit. <laughs> I, di I didn't make the money. 